Hello 3D printing friends, this is Zachary from Zachary's 3D Prints. In this video I'm going to show you two things, making your own QR badge and also doing a filament change within Cura, here on Zachary's 3D Prints. How awesome would it be to have a QR code when you scan it that you will go to a certain website or say something special to your loved ones. Within Thinkercad you have the ability to create your own custom QR codes leading to website but also saying some special things to your loved ones or some special friends. Well, I'm going to use that in this video but also I'm going to do a filament chase to be able to make this actually going to work. Within Thinkercad you have the ability to make QR codes. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So if you are going to events or some other places and you want to show off what you can do with a 3D printer, well, I've got good news for you. Well, first of all, we are going to the shape generator. There we click on all. So here on the second page, you have the QR code, you click on it and you put it right in the middle. It's a QR code, so basically you can make anything what you'd like to do. You can put any kind of text in there, but you can also put website links in there. youtube.com slash Zagory 3D Prince. So this QR code will bring you to my YouTube channel. So instead of that, we do something like that. So this is five millimeters high. So let's make something around it. We go to basic shapes. We take a box. We are lowering the box lower than the Q QR code itself. So we are going to select both. We are going to align it, something like that. Now we are going to export it to a SDL file so and then we are going to Cura so we drag and drop the SDL file here onto the build plate then we are going to slice so the print is going to take one hour and five minutes so this is an easy thing to do so now we are going to the preview and for this to, to work out pretty well we are going to go to the height where the first line is so we are going to the first line so if we do 20 there's nothing, only the text here. So as you can see on layer 21, a filament change needs to be done. Here you see the line, so there we need to do that. Well, we are going to extensions, post-processing, modify G-code, add a script, filament change. So on layer 21, we want to have this uh, filament change. Everything else we leave alone. We are not going to do anything special. We click on close. We slice it one more time again. And now the rest is going to be done. So on level 21, a filament change is required. So, and that is done, 
The only thing that we need to do is save to removable drive and it is saved onto the SD card. So now it's time to exchange the filament. So I have changed the filament. I put it in here. Now we heat. So it's making sound. Continue. It's going to purge out anyways. That's good. Fast. Purge more. Color is right. Continue. Then resume. It's a little bit filament there. Little blob. Look at that. And there you have it, a keychain hanger with your QR code on it to promote your company, promote your YouTube channel, and that with a normal, regular FDM 3D printer with just one color. Using your slicer to make a filament change during the print without having a multi-material printer or even without having a IDEX 3D printer. This video is supported by these awesome Patreon supporters, Roy Moses, The Lightspeed and Fixing Dude. Thank you guys for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by checking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you are still watching, you are amazing. On the end card, there's some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're at there, check out the merch in the merch store. Please like this video, share this video with other people and social media, and hey, Let's make awesome things with 3D printing. Zachary, 3D prints. Bye-bye.